And we're also following a developing story out of New Mexico, where a failed Republican candidate for the state house is being accused of a series of shootings targeting Democratic elected officials. Wow, Tia Ewing is in Studio 32 with details on this. Tia, those new developing details just keep on coming in about this situation. Police in Albuquerque, New Mexico, say GOP candidate Solomon Pena conspired with and hired four men to shoot the homes of two county commissioners and two state legislators. Now, back in November, Pena lost his bid for state legislator. He repeatedly made baseless claims that the election was rigged. And days later, he posted a photo on Twitter surrounded by Trump merchandise, writing, quote, what you see right there, I never conceded my race, now researching my options. The drive-by shootings began after that post with three reported in December. The last attack happened just two weeks ago. Fortunately, no one was hurt, but a bullet passed right through the bedroom of a state senator's 10-year-old daughter. An election denier, he weaponized those dangerous thoughts to threaten me and others, causing serious trauma. Shootings were orchestrated. They were dangerous attacks, not only to these individuals, which is personally the most terrifying for them, but fundamentally also to democracy. Well, Pena is being held on multiple charges. He is expected to make his initial court appearance tomorrow. And of course, we'll be watching Natalie.